Let's well, move it here from Game Announcer Cody K. Move it medium and all that other lovely stuff. Quick gameplay video for you. I've not played this yet. Being busy on the Xbox One. Flashback, one of my favourite games on the Mega Drive back in the day. A remake. Um, first time I've ever switched it on, so this is going to be a genuine live reaction video. So let's see how we go. Press start now. We're zooming in. Ooh. Campaign, obviously. Let's go on easy for the purposes of the video. Accept. Oh well. Hmm. So it looks like we've got a escape scene from the first game. The Mega Drive game only obviously a lot more updated. Ooh. Looks like the red skull only blue. You can tell it's the future because they were all wearing trench coats. Yay, there you go. Now it's the Mega Drive game on the speeder bike. Yeah. So yeah, this I used to play to death back in the day when it was out on the Mega Drive. It was one of my favourite games. I love the puzzle and the sci-fi elements to it. And back in the day, if you look at it, I mean, it looks arbitrary now. It looks rubbish now, but back when this came out, it looked amazing. There was no, there were no games that looked like the original Flashback at the time. Um, here we are. Here's the jungle setting. Yay! Luckily, he crash landed on a very thin platform. Yeah. Okay, so what are the buttons? So that's that button. Yep, similar level, similar uh, controls to the Mega Drive game. Hopefully, it's a similar setup to the Mega Drive game. There is a thing down here. Ooh, maybe not. There it is. I got a gun. Oh, you aim it. Ooh, crikey. Okay. Okay. Tell you what, though, it's a nice little update so far. It's a bit twitchy. But then the original game is very moved in blocks almost you, you you could almost map the level out in in, in squares uh, the way it uh... wow the way it uh, fell over the way it uh, moved because you walked forward one block and you jumped two blocks and yeah Yeah. There's hologram cube. Da 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 ding. Ha 
up we go. Oh, okay. That's new. Oh, I don't know the map just, just tells you where to go in the top corner. So, yeah, so not much of a um, reaction. Fair enough. Not much of a reaction to this because I'm too busy playing it, which is actually probably a good sign for first impressions. But yeah, it, it's laid out a similar way. It plays a similar way. And it's looking all right. And if you like, ever play uh, Flashback, can you remember it? Do you remember Another World on the Amiga? Great games. Back when innovation was still happening. Whoa. Ah, they blow up. I don't I don't think I am not sure I like the uh commentary through it. But we'll see. Aha! So they put new gun modules in now as well. Shoot shooty. Now what? we go. I don't like it's time to party. Right, what are you doing? Help indeed. Yeah, I remember this very well. Um, we need a stone or something. Is 
this is a new edition Oh, he crouched now. Hey. And along goes the pipe. You can't shoot upwards. Can't aim either. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm going to glitch. No. These levels have been designed slightly differently as well. I don't remember any of this. So yeah, where have I been? Um, well, around. Uh, busy on my new job. Well, not new now. Been doing it six months, but 
still busy doing that. I've been busy purely. Busy shooting those things. The podcast is back as well. It's just um, we've all been a bit busy doing work and jobs and home life stuff. Oh, this guy's comments are going to get annoying. Um, and yeah, I'm just getting back in the swing of it. Hence this, hence this video really, and the one before it. And then start doing videos, as, maybe not as regular as I pro possibly should do. Oh, you little bugger! Maybe not as often as I should do. I mean, on YouTube, obviously, uh, you have to. Uh, you're supposed to do a video on a regular basis. I know that, but I'm going to try. Just bear with me, I guess. Feeling fine. Quite tired, actually. It's quite late. In a whizzy was. Um, so yeah, um, what else have I been up to? Finally booked holiday for this year, Disneyland. Ah oh, yeah, um, I always wanted to go myself. So taking my taking my six year old daughter there, which will be cool. Give this first. Awesome sauce. <laughs> yeah. So I've got an ID card now that maps telling me exactly where to go, which is a bit of a cheat if you ask me. But there we go. Never mind. This is what I meant about games have just gotten easier in the uh, as time has gone on. I think anyway. That's actually a good question. Do you think games have gotten easier? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Comments on this video or go to movementmedia.wordpress.com and comment on it there. Access granted. Um, because in some ways, go, games have gotten. Oh, hang on, what's going on? In some ways, the games have gotten harder. In some days, they've gotten easier. But uh, I think, on the whole, they have gotten easier in terms of mainstream games. Um, Oh bugger, that's a century gun of some kind. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead, I've got to be dead. Some random guy standing in the forest. And that's it. That kind of ends. Um, 
yeah so i think we're gonna i'm gonna bring that topic up on the next podcast have games gotten easier or have they gotten harder but for the most part they are quite easier they've got a bit more mainstream which i guess is is uh there's a point to that because games are in the business now to make money i mean there was were, but now it's big big business so they've got to appeal to the widest audience possible so i guess that's probably what it is but i i, I do like i must admit i am liking this whole retro resurgence thing that's come about um, in 2013 both on the xbox xbox one ps4 um, the originally older consoles now if you want to call them that uh, these retro remakes, some blades in the arm money grabbing, they don't offer too much, but that one actually looks, that flashback, initial impressions, is actually quite good. The voiceover is a bit annoying, isn't it? Or that, ooh, feeling good, isn't it? That I could do without that. But I do like, it controls quite well, it looks good, the talking bits are a bit eh, but yeah, I like that, as opposed to if you want to call it a retro resurgence one, Sonic 4, which controlled like shite. It's like they, they they bring out these games and, and they completely change the control schemes. Fair enough, Flashback back in the day was very sluggish to control. If you try and play it now, you'll probably think you're waiting for a drink on that. So that was only going to be improved. And I think that's, that's the right level of improvement. It's not full, like, modern style... Um, small, smallest footsteps, you know, like and just, just the really sensitive analog controls. There's walk and run analog, and that's it. There's two points when I'm playing that. I like that. I must admit, I think I may, I may actually go and purchase that and play it, and we'll do some let's plays. And actually, I'll, I'll be more talkative at that point because I was ever damn tired. Um, hopefully, enjoyed that. Um, if you do, give, give me a like and subscribe, and you can find all the details of all the stuff I do on my blog, which is on your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra! I like to move it, move it, bit. Bit.